Hello and welcome back to another baseline tutorial. Today we're going to use the playback filter to group and apply a grade across these three different locations that we have in our timeline. So you can see that we have a city scene, we have a forest scene, and we have a studio scene. And we're going to have a look in the shots view, make sure that we have the required metadata, and then we're going to use the playback filter um, to copy and paste these grades across. So if we go ahead and open the shots view with Control H, you can see all of our shots in the timeline. And you can see, if we group by tape, that all of the city shots have the same tape name, all of the studio shots have the same tape name, and all of the forest shots have the same tape name. We'll go ahead and group by record time code again. So because all of these locations have the same tape name, we're going to use that to our advantage. You can see in the shots view that there are a couple of default tabs um, in the scene template. And if we go to the current tape default, you can see that there's a filter applied and the filter is a tape filter and it's a dynamic filter which says whatever shot the cursor is currently resting on display all of the other shots with the same tape name. So we've got our cursor resting on this shot with this tape name. So this filter will populate this tab with the rest of the shots with the same tape name. So this is dynamic. So if I scroll through my scene with the X keyboard shortcut key to jump to my next shot, you can see that this filter is updating with whatever tape name is selected. All of these tabs in the shots view can be shown in the base light scene as a playback filter. So let me show you how to do that. If we exit the shots view with control H, and we go down to our playback controls, you can see that we have a playback filtering drop-down menu. It's currently set to none, but if we click this, you can see that we have all of those tabs that we were looking at in the shots view, including current tape, which I'm gonna click now. You can see two things. So first of all, the cuts view has changed, and you can see the base light timeline also changed. So now, if I hit the X key, instead of jumping forward to this next shot, I'm gonna jump directly to all of the shots with the same tape name and hitting Z to go back. So this filter is really useful because if I go ahead and add a grade to my first clip here, and let's add something nice and crazy. Okay, I'm gonna add one more layer. I'm just gonna create a shape. So if we wanna copy this lovely looking grade across to these other two clips in our scene, what I can do, because our dark blue square is currently resting on my first clip with the grade, what I can do is I can jump across and I can hit the middle mouse button on the cuts view to select these shots. So the middle mouse button. I can enter group grading mode with command G. And I can go ahead and hit apply. So now you can see I've copied my grades across to all of the shots within this location uh, which share the common tape name which we filtered by. I'm going to exit group grade with command G. Um, obviously if you had a lot of shots on the timeline here you wouldn't want to select everyone manually by hand. So there's a shortcut uh, command shift enter and that selects all and deselects all. So um, if I command Z, if I want to uh, select all of my clips here I will go command shift enter I can deselect my first clip and hit Command G, apply. I'm going to hit Command G to exit out of group grading mode. And I'm going to go to my playback filter and hit none. And now my timeline and my cuts view returns to normal. Now, an easier way to enter playback filtering mode other than hitting this button is Control Tab. And you can see that brings up a full screen UI. I can cycle through my options here. So I'm gonna to go to my current tape and now, because my cursor is resting on this shot, it is dynamically showing this tape, um, which is again my forest scene. I'm going to add a quick grade, adding a layer here, make it very <laughs> green, and adding one more shape here, just make it a triangle. Now, if I want to copy this across, I might do it a slightly different way this time. Um, I might hit Command U, which is Smart Copy. So Smart Copy copies everything in the stack above the cursor. So that's Command U. I'm just going to jump along to my next shot with X. I'm going to hit Command I, which is Intelligent Paste, which will paste the grade layers across the duration of this new layer. That's uh, fantastic. I'm going to go back to the first shot with Z and exit out of playback filtering with Control Tab. Now, if I was in playback filtering, the current tape, and I wanted to get to my other tape name, I can go ahead and just drag my cursor 
and you can see that it dynamically updates as you go. So I'm just going to drag it to this clip here, add myself a grade. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and activate my dark blue square by clicking on my first shot, just with the left mouse button. I'm going to jump to my next shot, I'm going to middle mouse button click the remaining two, enter group grading mode, and hit apply. And there we have it. Exit and group grading with Command G. Exit my playback filter with Control Tab, no filtering. Now I want to remove my um, selection in the cut view, so I'm going to go ahead and hit um, Command Shift Enter, Command Shift Enter, and I'm going to go ahead and lock my dark blue square, and we're good to go. So you can see that we've copied across all of the grades to all of our scenes. And we did that quite easily using the default current tape filter in the shots view. The playback filter is a really fantastic way to apply grades en masse. For example, if you had an interview shot that came up you know, 50 times throughout your TV show or film, you could make sure that the tape name matches and then you could apply that playback filter and apply all those grades to all of those shots uh, very easily. I hope you enjoyed that uh, grading tutorial. If you found this useful, I am offering online baselight coaching. Feel free to fill out the online Google form um, in the description below and I will email you with some details. Aside from that, I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.